sometimes when you submit an outfit to Daz uh, QA, we go and look at it and a QA report comes back saying that you have geometry embedded in the duff or other things embedded in the duff that aren't supposed to be there, modifiers and things like that. And so a common question is, okay, well, how do I fix this? It's not nearly as hard as you might think. So I have an example here of uh, a skirt and a top that are saved into a wearable preset. If I go and browse this file and open it in an editor, as soon as I look at the top, you can see geometry library. A DUF file should not have geometry library in it. So this is a clear sign that there's something wrong. And that's, ex that's essentially what QA is looking for. They may open this file and find the geometry library, or they might be running a script that says, hey, there's a geometry library in here. But whatever method they're using, they are finding this. And this is telling them that this content is not saved properly. So how I got to this point was I loaded in these the, the geometry for the top and the skirt, and I ran the transfer utility, set up the rigging on them, and then I just saved a wearable preset with both of those in it. Normally, the correct process is I load them in, I rig them, and then I select them, and I save a support asset, figure prop asset, and I go through that process for each item, the top and the skirt. And when you do that, it writes a DUF file that references a bunch of files in the data folder. And the data folder is all hidden from the users, uh, and it contains this data for how to load this, uh, what the rigging is, the geometry, UVs, morphs, all, those, all that data is stored in the data folder. So here I have these, and I'm just going to save an asset for each of these. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the top. Uh, so I'm going to save this. All right, and I'll just leave this generic for now and save that. And then I'm going to save the skirt, same way. My names are too generic. Don't name your stuff skirt or top like I'm doing. Uh, those should be, of course, be more unique. Uh, put the product name or some representation of the prog name in the name in the name of the duff there. Okay, so now I have the skirt and the top saved out, and I can just go and save my wearable once again over the top of the original. And now if we go browse to that and open it in a text editor, uh, you can see that nothing's embedded. So it's pretty simple. You save out the assets, and you can immediately after that save the wearable and it'll know that you saved out the assets and it will fix the wearable so it doesn't have anything embedded in it anymore. Now uh, I like I showed you I have the skirt in the top here. I actually don't want them to be loaded separate so I can just delete those uh, and that's totally fine. And now if I delete this and I go and I load this it still loads, still works the same as it used to work uh, but now there's nothing embedded in the def file.